Hi, so um, I've had a, um, a car plate adapter in, uh, in the Porsche for about a year, uh, but it, it doesn't connect every time. It's, it's, it's quite sporadic and it just seems like the times when I need it most, uh, like I want to use Google Maps uh, for, uh, for uh, directions, it, it's, it's not connecting. And um, so I thought, I'm going to change it out. I'd, I, it was quite a, a cheap one that I put in there, and it was it was okay for a time. Uh, but I'm I want to put something in there that's uh, a little bit better now. So uh, I had a look at the market and decided on the Ottercast Play to Video Pro. Um, so this is a CarPlay. This is a wireless CarPlay adapter. I've I've got wired CarPlay, but I want I want it to be wireless. I don't want to be faffing around with plugging a cable in so I decided to uh, to get this one uh, it also comes with Netflix I think and, and a couple of extras I'm not really so much interested in those I certainly wouldn't use it while I was driving not only is it illegal I think it's a pretty uh, daft idea um, so this is what it looks like out of the box so uh, this connection here, which is your USB-C, is the business end. Uh, I have got uh, a, um, an A-type connection in the Porsche, in the, in the uh, armrest. So that's what I'm going to be using. That, a, a USB-A socket there, is used for firmware upgrades. So to all intents and purposes, has no real day-to-day -day business. Um, so the instruction manual that comes with it is it's fairly straightforward. I think I think there is some reading between the lines to be done. And also get the feeling that this is just a generic adapter made by the thousands all over the for sale all over the world. Um so I think as I say we so this is the adapter that I've uh, been using. So just uh, get rid of that. And this is the, the new adapter plugged in. So USB-A is the, uh, the USB serial bus in the car connected in there. USB-C into the device there. Um, as soon as you turn the ignition on, you should get a red light there. So I'll keep you abreast of that. I was going to try and set this camera up on a tripod in here, but that is obviously not going to work. Okay, so key goes in. Right, okay, well that's a lot like the interface that I used to have before. Let's turn the fan down, I don't want that on. So, Apple CarPlay. Okay. So I think that's more along the lines of uh, for Netflix and whatnot, which, yeah, I totally agree with. Okay, so there you go. The, the, the interface has come up straight away, which is, uh, which is pretty good. So now the user manual calls for connection to Wi-Fi. So that's gonna be the hotspot of my phone, so. Uh, network and internet, personalization, apps, storage. So let's go there. Uh, internet. Okay, so hotspot's on, so now I'm gonna select that. And that's gonna want me password, so uh, stand by while I put that in. Okay, so as you can see, it's connected to my phone's uh, hotspot. So that's, that's all good, so. Okay, 
Okay, that seems fine. So I'm just going to go back there. Um, so you see, there's a, a, a selection for VPN. I'm not going to go into that. Um, tethering and, and portable hotspot. I'm not going to go into that either because there's there is no point. Um, Start up and navigation. I'm going to leave that at default, I think, for now. Uh, the safety reminder is uh, is off. I ticked that box when we started. Navigation bar, automatic. I'm going to leave all that as it is for now. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's go home. Okay, so now... Uh, Pair your mobile phone with uh, with Bluetooth. So, select the phone. Uh, pair device. I'm gonna click refresh because it should. It should just pick up my phone. I don't know what two of those devices are. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, go into the phone and toggle Bluetooth on and off. See what difference that makes. Let's just check. No. Okay, so a little refresh of the situation in the, uh, in the settings seems to have done the trick. So selecting my phone. Pairing. Problem is when you're filming on your phone, obviously I don't know if I'm getting any messages saying something wants to connect, so I'm just gonna check that. So that worked. Uh, as soon as I went into the phone, um, Bluetooth, um, I saw this device and it, it just comes up as, as the box says, basically. The, uh, just check comes up as the play to video pro which i just suggest came up with the usual six digit uh, pairing code which i accepted and then um it asked if i wanted to sync contact so yes i do because this is going to be the primary interface between the car and my phone so yes i do want it to sync contacts so that seems to be done uh what we got here Auto answer no, that's the device that it comes up as. Auto connect, yes I do want it to auto connect when I start the car. Uh, there you go, you've got your Bluetooth and um, the symbol there for a hotspot link. Um, okay, so that was the last thing that I played, so let's stop that. Download contacts. I'll do that later, obviously, for, for privacy. I don't want that coming up on the screen. Uh, call records again. Uh, for the sake of privacy, uh, I won't be downloading that right now, but that's obviously where that comes from. So that's your call log there and your, and your contacts. I will click download on both of those later. Um, just a numeric keypad, obviously. I don't know if this is the time. If that's the time, it's out. I don't know if that might synchronise um, with the phone. Uh, we'll find out soon. Okay, so that, you know what, that was quite easy. I've got no problem with that at all. If you're going to be doing this without trying to film it, because I think the only problems that I've had is really the fact that I've been using the phone that I wanted to connect to. So, uh, yeah, that all seemed to go really well. So what have I got here? Got Netflix and YouTube, um, which is fine. Let's go into Netflix and see. So 
I guess the first thing it's going to want is for me to sign in. Get started. I'll just put those details in. Okay, so sign in was just as easy as it, as it ever is. It's just your, your email that's associated with the account and the password. And uh, yeah, films. Um, so yeah, that works just as you'd expect it to. Okay, that's fine. So let's go back home. Uh, TikTok, I've never done anything on TikTok in my life. So, YouTube. So again, that's uh, come to the uh, the sign-in screen, which you'd expect. So sign in there, um, which I will do. Okay, the uh, YouTube is now signed in. <clears throat> so that's all looking good. Uh, so let's just return home. <laughs> okay, so that's Netflix signed in, YouTube signed in. Uh, and that's all good. So I'll just now have a little play. Uh, so hopefully that uh, that's that's helped you get a start um, with the um, with the Ottercast Play Two Video Pro. Um, fairly straightforward, I thought. Um, quite intuitive, obviously. If you're going to use streaming services or online services, you're going to need a connection to your uh, to your phone, uh, tether connection, and obviously your Bluetooth, uh, which you're going to need if you're going to use it as, as a phone, which I intend to. So I'll have a little play now, and uh, okay, cheers. Hope that was useful to you. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Cheers, bye. So uh, just been playing, as you tend to do. Um, and I've just found something. I said earlier that uh, I've never used TikTok in my life. Don't intend to. So I thought, I wonder if I press and hold and that replace with Prime Video, which I do use. So, but as I say, I really can't see me. Whenever I'm out in this car, I'm never sort of stationary for long enough to want to watch TV. But uh, just interesting to... Um, to note all that um, so also what I found is if you press the car symbol so that's the cars the the the, the PCM the Porsche um, module so um, that comes up and obviously just to get back into Apple CarPlay it's like that so I'll continue to play Okay, so I installed the the, uh, the Ottercast a couple of days ago, but since then I've had a little play because the instruction manual tells you how to install it, it, it and it runs out of talent when it comes to operating it or um, setting it up. So let's you know, show you what I've learned. So uh, just putting the key in the ignition there. So um, this is obviously the CarPlay screen first problem I had was when I got into the CarPlay screen, no problem getting into the CarPlay screen, but when I wanted to get out of it, that was a, a, an entirely different matter. There was no, I couldn't find a way to get back to the Ottercast screen. So, but what I found is, if you remember rightly, earlier on, uh, or the other day, I had the, the home screen and, the, and the, the, the home button and the back button here. Well, I moved it over here because you need, you need to be comfortable how you're going to use it. You need you get you get it up by swiping and pushing there, and that wasn't too evident. Um, only sort of through having a play that we actually got to that point. So, and also this, you may get a splash screen sometime that says Android, is because I think this this thing is driven by an Android. Um, 
uh, operating system. So that caught me by surprise. I wasn't expecting to see Android um, come up on the screen. So you can customize all these buttons, whether they're here or not, or what you what you have on. If you remember here, I had TikTok, and I said that I, I don't use TikTok. If you press and hold, you get the opportunity to replace or delete that. So if you replace it, you get a selection of apps that you can put in its place. Um, so I just chose to have um, Prime, and I, I logged into my Prime account, and all good. So the CarPlay button will take you to CarPlay, as, um, as you would expect. And as I say, to get back, you have to imagine imagine that that is there, a swipe. If it's on the, the left-hand side, swipe right, you'll get it up, press the home button, and that will get you back to this. But other than that, you'll be on um, you'll be on, on your CarPlay screen. So your, your phone button there, music, that um, is uh, of, of, to play video files, I, I will never have video files in there. Um, there is some spare capacity in there. Uh, if you you can see on storage, there's uh, about just over seven gig free. So you can download uh, new apps and use them. You can customize the wallpaper, display, etc., etc. So um, that's that. And that doesn't seem to do anything apart from um, clean to top condition. I, I don't know what that means. You've got your settings, and obviously that's how you, you get into the get back to your car. In this case, this is a Porsche communication module. Um, and it's a simple case of pressing CarPlay to get back to that. So there you go, that, that's it in a nutshell. So I hope that's, that's helped you somewhat and will help you install uh, this into your car, whether it be a Porsche or whatever. This, you know, this, is, this has got wired CarPlay, um, but I, I wanted it to be wireless. I didn't want to be faffing around with cables. So, you know, this, this, this works for me. So uh, yeah, hopefully you got something out of that. Um, don't forget to click like and subscribe and have a nice day. Take care, bye.